For the first time in more than a decade, FEMA releases new flood maps of Hamilton County. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. The updated maps show what areas of Chattanooga are at risk when water levels rise. News Channel 9's Brittany Nicholson joins us live now with what she learned today. Brittany. Many places in the city are known for standing water, like here on Brainerd Road off Chickamauga Creek. And as this water rises, many homes are at risk of flooding. Now, today I spoke with homeowners who are affected by these flood maps. And for some, that's not good news. When it rains in some Chattanooga neighborhoods, sometimes drainage can be an issue. But most homeowners say it never actually rises to the front door. There's been water, <laughs> plenty of water around there but uh, I've never had anything in the house or, or in the, any of the buildings. Today, the city and FEMA, or Federal Emergency Management Agency, released new flood maps for the first time in 13 years. Chattanooga Flood Planning Manager Gary Robkin says a lot has changed since 2002. Periodically, they're updated uh, just because of development, uh, land changes, uh, other factors, new science, new technology that come out to make more accurate maps. For some, they are no longer at risk of flooding and will save hundreds a year on flood insurance. For others, like Pam Hargis, when it rains, it pours. I was hoping to hear that, you know, we're, we're getting out of that flood zone because really a street over from us is out of the flood zone, but we're still in it. And, uh, you know, I just want to reduce this cost as much as possible, but I'm not going to be able to do that. Hargis says her home was already in a flood zone, but now she's going to see an 18% increase in flood insurance costs. We don't have any flood issues. We've not had any flood issues since my husband's parents built the house in the 1940s. Homeowners like Hargis were able to view the new maps, then talk to insurance agents and other emergency officials. Robkin says there is very little the city or FEMA can do for those at risk of flood damage, and that's why it's important everyone knows where they stand. If you do not have flood insurance and the waters are rising, it's too late for flood insurance at that point. Now, Robkin says that flood maps show the most high-risk area is near South Chickamauga Creek. We're live here on Brainerd Road. Brittany Nicholson, News Channel 9. Brittany, thank you. If you'd like to see these maps, click on this story on our website, newschannel9.com.